Well, for the first time ever, Americans nationwide today will receive a text from President Trump. The, tr the text, rather, is the first test of a national alert system to warn people about a crisis. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live in our news center this morning to tell us more about the alert system. Good morning, Trang. Hey, good morning, Jan and Jim. It'll be a sound that you've likely heard before from a severe weather or amber alert. Your cell phone will vibrate and then let out a loud jarring alarm. Now, if your cell is on and you have service, you will likely receive it and can't stop it. But this time, fortunately, it's only a test. Right around 2.18 p.m. Eastern time today, cell phones across the United States will be buzzing with the same message. When those messages appear on mobile devices, people should take those extremely seriously. It has some direct impact on either life or safety. FEMA's Antoine Johnson directs the agency's public alert warning system that will send out the test of the presidential alert. If we have something that's of national significance, we could rapidly notify the American public of that event. Government agencies across the country have issued more than 40,000 emergency alerts to cell phones since 2012, but those amber and weather alerts target specific regions. This new presidential alert will be nationwide and only used for advance warning of national crises. It should be reserved for true situations, true emergencies when we need to get the public's attention. Former Secretary of Homeland Security Jay Johnson says it is designed to be used very specifically and sparingly and cannot be used to send political messages. He says that's especially important because unlike other alerts, no one can opt out. One thing that we need to make very clear is that uh, there are uh, laws, policies and procedures that are in place, other protocols to ensure that the system is used in accordance with uh, its intended use as defined by the law. Alerts are not foolproof, however. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. In January, Hawaii's Emergency Management Agency mistakenly sent out an alert warning of a ballistic missile threat to more than a million cell phones. Former President Barack Obama approved the creation of the system back in 2016. Now, today's test will also be broadcast on radio and television two minutes after the cell phone alert. And again, that is at 2.18 Eastern Time. But for now, we're live from the CBS 3 News Center. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Trang, thank you.